Hi, how are you doing? Are you good? Cool. So the orange man won and he's coming back with a vengeance. <laughs> I just thought I'd share my thoughts when it came to this breaking news. Man, I've been gone for so long. Do you guys even give a fuck about what I have to say? Ugh. So anyway, Kamala lost. Trump won. And I saw it coming from a mile away. All right. I've been screaming about it for like four fucking years now. So when it comes to this election, people are going to blame Latinos. They're going to blame men. But uh, the blame should solely go on the Democrats. They fucking suck. So the Democrats, for two to three to four years, hid the fact that Joe Biden was more cooked than a Thanksgiving turkey. They stopped any attempt at a primary to replace him. And when it finally came time to replace him, they decided to replace him with his coconut head vice president, who is one of the most unpopular presidents in the modern era. That is some loser shit. Huh, homeless man? They're losers, huh? He's not so bent out of shape. He actually voted for Trump. Also, the fact that so many people voted for Jill Stein and that places like Dearborn, Michigan, uh, that has a high Muslim population, went for Trump, should be a clear sign that going along with a genocide isn't a clear uh, electoral winning strategy. If you're running for president and you have a whole swath of people that are saying, I don't want to see any more women and children be bombed, you should probably tell those people, I'm going to make sure those women and children stop getting bombed. And now we have Trump again. So what can we expect? Well, the one thing that he will definitely pass uh, will be an extension of the Bush era tax cuts. That is for sure going to happen. Yeah. A bunch of tax cuts for uh, people that don't need it. So yay, rich people, you're going to get exactly what you want from this administration. Speaking of rich people, Elon Musk. Uh, Lena Khan is for sure getting fired. Elon's already said that's going to happen. And um, the, uh, the gains that labor has been making these past couple years with strikes and the formation of unions, that's all probably going to get squashed. Trump and Elon are huge union busters. Uh, Elon right now is in a lawsuit where he's trying to get the NLRB, the National Labor Relations Board, he's trying to get that whole government agency uh, to be deemed unconstitutional. Trump's probably going to deport a bunch of people. Um... He's going to probably try and institute those tariffs he's talking about where it's going to fucking hurt. It's going to hurt you financially if those go through. Uh, Elon Musk out here saying that people are going to experience temporary hardship, which I think is really cute considering that he's the richest man on the planet. Go fuck yourself, Elon. Oh my God. If you thought Genocide Joe was bad when it came to genocide, Donald Trump is going to let Benjamin Netanyahu do whatever the fuck he wants in the Middle East. Miriam Adelson, a Republican mega donor, paid Trump a hundred million dollars so he can let Netanyahu annex the West Bank. So that's for sure going to happen. Wouldn't surprise me if we went to war with Iran. I mean, we're already heading there slowly. I think with Trump, we'll just get there a whole lot faster. So those are all the terrible things I expect to happen during this new Trump administration. Now let's go on to maybe some of the good things. For one, Trump said that he's going to end the war in Ukraine. Sure. Trump also said years ago that he was thinking about maybe pulling America out of NATO. And as someone who's very worried about nuclear war, to me, that sounds kind of appealing. So do I have hope that Donald Trump is maybe going to prevent thermonuclear World War III? No, because I don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth. I'll believe it when I fucking see it. 
How about that? See, that's the same problem I had with Kamala Harris because these two motherfuckers are politicians. And I hold politicians in the same regard as I do ticks and fleas. They're nothing but bloodsuckers, parasites that latch onto you, that need you in order to survive. So fuck Kamala Harris, fuck Donald Trump, fuck all of them. Who needs them? And in the end, I think we'll live. We'll probably be all right. Isn't that right, Mr. Homeless Man? Huh. He's such a MAGA head.